Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Multiverse Studio. In this video, I am going to show you how you can create a dying choti effect from Nazar in Cinema 4D. For this tutorial, I am going to use a free plugin called Reaper and the version is 3.2. So to make this effect, click the spline pen. Here I am going to select the helix. I'm going to drag above the ground and also I'm going to change the settings from this portion so that I can adjust the hair. Here I have changed the end angle and I will make a keyframe of the end angle to 160 degree in the first frame. Now I will drag forward in time say 30 frames and I will increase it also making keyframes on the values that I'm changing like this and it will be a good thing if I increase my sequence length by 300 frames. Now I will move forward in time in 60 frames and I will change it like this. Now I will make keyframes on all the radio buttons over here to the default state and I will go to the 120th frame and I will just adjust this end radius size to decrease the value to 50 centimeter. Make a keyframe, go forward in time 150 frames and I will again change few of the settings as I am showing here. I am going to make this 220 frames. Okay, so here our main spline is ready. Now what I need to do is I am going to click on the extension and click the Reaper plugin. Reaper plugin will appear and now I need to make this helix child of the Reaper like this you can see it has appeared now by default the helix is selected now you need to click the reaper now in this reaper plugin you will see basic coordinates general strands caps and options so you need to go to the general tab and this is the coils the number of coils is 50 if i decrease it it will look something like this and the strands is the number of curvy things okay there is another option called mode now the coiled rope option has multiple strands this is the first option the second option is simple braid three strands it will look like a braid i'm going to select simple braid which will look something like this now as we have already made animation on the helix you can see this animation is going on if you want you can change the animation type so now go to the strands here the cool thing is in the end growth if you decrease it make a keyframe on the end growth and and go to the 30th frame of the timeline and increase the values and make another keyframe it will look something like this that the braid is appearing from the head and is moving like this in this frame as you can see it become loose so to fix that go to the reaper plugin and go to the general and now you can see there are two more options called radius and distance if i change this it's look good so far what i have done i have used value 14 in coils and multiple samples is 17. now if i increase the radius it is the thickness of the braid and if i increase the distance it is the distance between the gap so you need to decrease the gap like this so it doesn't look anything else than braid 15 centimeter on radius is perfect it looks something like this now which is pretty cool now i'm going to color my braid and also going to add lights to my scene so if you want to do exactly like this just follow my steps our braid is finally ready clicking this option create a sphere drag and drop to the helix and make a child with the helix now i'll make it a bit 32 segments so that it will become a round thing so now i will adjust the points of the sphere to the start position of the spline now you can see if i click play it will come from this portion suppose it's a head of the diane and choti is coming out from her head which is pretty cool now we need to render this out so to do that just click on this option edit render settings click it by default it's 720p i'm going to change it to 1920 by 1080 and it's not recommended but i also do this uh, i change the ptpi to 96 and you need to select all frames now go to the save option and select where you want to save it you can give any name i'm going to give this name diane choti tutorial tutorial 4 okay 
So now if you want to use After Effects or Premiere Pro, I will recommend you to use this option, which is Open EXR and click the alpha channel to make the background transparent. Also click the 8-bit dithering and our setting is completely done. You don't need to do anything fancier on this thing. Everything is perfect. Now just render. I hope you like this tutorial. If you do, please drop a like. And if you are new to my channel, I would request you to subscribe my channel by clicking this red button. Also click the notification bell so that you will never miss this kind of videos. I also make VFX assets for creators like you and tutorial videos like this one. I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.